Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to my talk. Today I will talk about uh, natural language process application in cases of violence against women. This is the agenda for today. A little about myself. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And my journey into the world of data began back in 2019, 18. Uh, I am a data scientist and uh, I'm become an active member of PyLady Sao Paulo in 2019. And I'm very grateful for this community. I started to program with them. And also, I am a popular program educator. I teach program for teenagers in Brazil, especially for the some region in suburbs. Well, why this topic? It's uh, for us women. It's a normal uh, situation, especially for us in South America. But I think these problems around the world and and. Uh, Every single day in Brazil, you can read in the newspapers about violence against women. As I mentioned before, I am a data scientist, but first of all, I am a woman. And uh, when I read this new, uh, I guess, uh, in the cases of violence against women, I felt this violence is against me as well. I think every single woman in this room felt the same. I hope so. And that's why I thought I could use my technical knowledge to understand this social problem. And for this reason, I started researching data on domestic violence. But to my surprise, I didn't find any data about this situation. We have a problem. This is the uh, situation, is the, uh, some, some news about the violence. One in three women suffered this, and I didn't find the data. It's impossible, no? Um, I know this data is very sensitive. You have some issues about the, the data, but I needed to, to find a solution for this problem because I would like to identify patterns in these reports. Because when you speak for the, for example, for the official policy, the, the woman talk in the same way, but you know her feelings is more, much more than that situation. And for this reason, I have a, a good idea in my mind, you know, because uh, I think, oh, I can collect this data from newspapers, online newspapers, but uh, uh, it's, I collect only the Portuguese from Brazil, you know, uh, because it's my reality. But uh, this the first idea to collect this data from newspaper didn't work, of course, because it's a little complex to separate the women uh, report from the journalist tests. That's when I am Brazilian, you know, you will fight all the time. And uh, I had the second idea. Ah, I will collect you from YouTube. YouTube has a lot of videos. And uh, this, when I, but first of all, I needed to know if there are videos about uh, women talk about this, th their experience about the violence, because I know it's very sensitive. And first of all, I collect, uh, I did a manual search using some keywords such as report, violence, and the woman. And uh, look here, it's, I put in English. But in Portuguese, you, I found a lot of videos about this problem. Luckily for me, I located videos. Unfortunately for this woman, I found these videos. Uh, 
I collect only Brazilian Portuguese. And for my surprise, of, I, I found uh, several videos about this situation. But you know, if you work with data, you know this, uh, when you collect videos, it's so hard to, to find the patterns on these videos because it was unstructured data. And uh, I, I, I had the third idea. Oh, I can collect this in automated way. And uh, that's when I look at for APIs that could help me to collect these videos. And uh, YouTube has an API that uh, allows you to collect these videos. In, in addition, YouTube has a read and deep material about uh, these reports because the, uh, there are a lot of uh, channels about the groups of women that support other uh, women, and uh, they uh, they felt comfortable to talk about uh, their experience. And for me, the YouTube has this is a very rich rich uh, material to because I would like to identify it patterns because you know especially for us women, you know there are a lot of patterns in this situation. If you are poor or rich, don't matter. It's the same. And in this stage, I collect uh, 119 uh, videos, but most of them don't talk about the domestic violence because my focus was domestic violence because there are a lot of other violence I guess, women. But for my, my master research, I use it only for domestic violence. And uh, after uh, I collected this data, but uh, I needed to transform the unstructured data into structured data. When I had the idea to use Whisper, Whisper is from a OpenAI. Uh, Whisper is an uh, automatic speech recognition, and uh, that was exactly that I needed to transcribe my videos, to test. In other words, I transform my unstructured data to structured data. This part uh, was too hard for me because I I needed to to listen every single video to, to confirm this video talk about domestic violence and I needed to validate it transcription by transcription to, to for my surprise the whisper works very well especially because you know the whisper uh, works very well in English for example but in Brazilian Portuguese for my surprise all, uh, works very well almost uh, 100%, but for my mind, no. My mind uh, uh, didn't work well because I listen every single videos and they talk about violence. I guess uh, me, not especially me, but for women, you know? I feel very sad in this period and, uh, but, I explain here a little bit my data. For example, I collect the APIs on YouTube. You can collect some metadata, and I collect the video ID, the video title, the original transcription, and the validated transcription. The fourth one here, it's uh, that the transcription that I needed to to transcription by transcription, and. Uh, and this part took a, a while. I needed to use a Collabs, Google Collabs, to, to because I needed to use a GPU because I use the the most uh, uh, the biggest one uh, model, the Whisper model for Portuguese. Take more or less, I guess, ninety hours to transcript these videos. Well. Um, after 
that I collect. Ah, this is very important. The fourth one, the it uh, I I took some parts of the test because some parts uh, people talk, uh, for example, oh, subscribing on my channel or other things, or someone ask to the woman, oh, talk about your experience. I remove this part. The fourth, the column, the validate column, it's about one of the that the test of women, the report of this woman. Well, <laughs> after that, I needed to start to analyze the, the date, but I needed to standardize it because uh, we have uh, some problem when you use a test to, to analyze some, uh, to analyze the this part was very important here in the when I remove the stop words, I prepare my list for this part because in Portuguese you we use a lot of words don't uh, how can I explain that don't don't mean for the the context and the remove I had uh, I have a, a great uh, friend that uh, helped me about this part and some words I remove as well for example women woman or violence because it's my context you know and and the the last one for me it's more important I remove the real names because I know it's a public uh, data because it's uh, you uh, stay in YouTube the other things but for respect of the victims I remove uh, real names because sometimes the, the women talk a lot her name or the, the, the child and the other persons here. Well, this part is very important. I use it to, to extract the partners. In this report, I use it Bertopk. Bertopk is a, a, is a particular useful for discovering high topics in the test. Uh, especially into a large collection uh, data, and for this reason, I use it then for uh, I use it for to identify this part of a women's report. Uh, for example, here I don't care if the I, I I don't care if the to understand for the report of one woman. I would like to understand the the collective, not the individual. Well, another point, uh, uh, positive point here though, of the the Bertop is Bertopic is a topic modeling based on modularity, which uh, offer great flexibility in choice the algorithm use it in to each uh, state of the, the application. For example, in bounds, you can choose your model or in the part of the dimensionality reduction, you can choose uh, the algorithm that uh, what you want. Yes. And uh, for me, the bird topic was very uh, essential because I can change, for example, the in the sentence, uh, I use the algorithm, the Brazilian algorithm. And, uh, but you can see below that the, the step that I use it. For example, this name is very cool, you know, here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. And this topic is, this, uh, this part of the uh, inbounds, it's very curious. Because in Brazil you have the mu uh, instrument music musical instrument. The name is berimbau, you know, and you mix bird and berimbau, and that is the berimbau. The Brazilian is very creative, you know. This is the instrument here, and um, well, uh, I use for this part a protein model in Portuguese. The name is berimbau. It was very useful for me because then can understand better our language than others much uh, much model uh, algorithm. 
And uh, for the part of the dimensionality reduction, I use a UMAP. Yep. And for the cluster step, I use a ATB scan. This part, I use an ATB scan because when you use it, you don't need to inform the amount of cluster that you would like to find. In my situation, I don't know what number I, I needed to, to put here to find these clusters. And uh, this is the reason that I use it. ATB scan because uh, because I would like to identify, discover uh, hindings patterns and I get the uh, ATB scan is very well for my situation and uh, the last part here the tokenizer um, this part. Uh, to get a uh, accurate representation of the each top uh you use for uh, I use the uh, I prepare the bag of your matrix and uh I use a TF ET, uh, EDF for this but uh, this part here is very important because was uh, adjusted to work on each cluster or topic here uh I mean I use IT, uh, TF IDF to for each cluster that I found use it uh, 8B scan, you know. For example, when you use uh, um, TF uh, TF IDF, you use it for the sentence only for the sentence. In my case, I use it for the each cluster or topic. Is the same here. Well, this is part um, that the bird top show me after all of these steps. Here is the the, the top that had the best semantically similarity words. You can see, for example, I know it's in Portuguese, but the idea here, for example, the first top here, the top two. This is the top five top that uh, had the best semantic representation. Because, for example, you can ask me, oh, oh what about top one or top three? Because I, in this part, is very uh, manual situation. You can uh, read the, the words that they found, and you see, oh, make a sense in this part or don't make a sense. In my, in my case, this top, the top five talks here, it uh, had uh, the representation, uh, semantic representation. This word here, for example, the first word in the topic two, it's conhecer, is knowing in English. Uh, it, that the, is that the word uh, that had most representation in topic two, and the other words at the set of words that were associated with, with this topic here, the topic two. But uh, I know the image in Portuguese uh, sometimes is very difficult to understand, but let's take a closer at uh, topic two. Here, I, I tra uh, translation to English. This is the word that associates for this topic here. Well, when you see, for example, the the phrases here, the part of the documents, this part is it's a mix. There are a lot of reports of women, not for yeah, it. Uh, it uh, document. I don't know how women talk about this situation, but the here, the algorithms uh, found the patterns. And uh, for example, it's so hard to, to read this because when I start to read this, it uh, makes me very sad. But you can see here that e there are a lot of, not there are, there is a, a pattern here. Well, when observing uh, 
the associate words, it's possible to to see that the aggr aggressions and the violence experienced by this woman probably stimulated then the desire to seek and to end all of the adversities they face. Here, the woman knows uh, about the violence. We, we know. But the, they needed to, to, to escape of this violence. But it's very complicated, especially for us women, uh, I, I guess it's a, it's very hard to the woman start to uh, wake up and uh, escape to this violence. Here is the one of the uh, the the other topic that I found the 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 patterns because I needed to to re read a lot about uh, domestic violence in these cases, and uh, this is. Um, I, this is the the part that I needed to to some help of the specialist of the domestic violence, and uh, that I I said before uh, I am a data scientist. I'm not a specialist of domestic violence, but uh, I identified some patterns, especially for this topic here that I show you. Is uh, it's um. So too sad to read this because sometimes the family don't believe in the in the the woman or the society don't believe her. and uh, but when uh, they wake up of this situation she can escape and start a new life again. Well, uh, this the remember that I'm not a specialist and domestic violence, but uh, it uh, was possible to identify some some partners here. This is the the plot that uh, that it, there are other stocks here. If you can see, there are, for example, this one is very distant for the water side, but uh, you can see. Uh, some patterns in the the words. It's in Portuguese, but make a sense. Believe me, make a sense. <laughs> if you can, if you you can speak in Spanish, it's very close, you know. But uh, there there are a lot of partners here. I needed to to work now with the someone that was specialist in domestic violence. And um, for conclusion here. Other thing that you do like it to to leave you, you think about uh, is that uh, you can use your technical knowledge for social being. You know, I know every there are a lot of uh, individual here, but you can use our technical knowledge to for the society. You know, not for only the money, 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 money. And you can use these for, for, for us, you know, for humanity. And um, thank you a lot. Uh, I appreciate your time. If you have any question, let me know. This is my LinkedIn. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. We have four minutes for questions, so run to the microphones, everybody. Uh, hi, thank you for the presentation. I have a question. In the beginning, you mentioned that the data from uh, newspapers wasn't suitable for your purpose, and I, I'm not sure I understood why. So could you please elaborate on that? How? Oh, why I didn't use the newspapers? Yeah, uh, okay. Because it's so difficult to separate the 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 women report and the, the journalist test. Because in the 
the newspaper. Sometimes the journalist asks something for the woman and the woman uh, responds then. And uh, I, I couldn't uh, separate this part. And I would like to find only for the, re uh, the women reports. Ah, so it's uh, hard to separate the question from the answer. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. Because sometimes it's not the easy to, to, to see because uh, sometimes it's only one, one test, you know. And on the video, it's like different voices and you can separate them. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. All right, cool. Um, hi. Um, first of all, uh, excellent talk. That was super, super interesting. Thank you. Um, now that you have this data, do you have plans on kind of what your next steps to, like, what are you planning on doing with this data yeah. now? Yeah, good question. All the time I wonder about these. I would like to to move on for, to, now I guess I need to someone that uh, knows about domestic violence to, see, uh, to say me, oh, make a sense, don't make a sense for, the, for us, this more uh, technical person, oh, it's work, it's very cool. But some, I, I don't know if the, for the specialist, it makes sense for this. My next step is to find someone that knows a lot about this and they use it for the others, ah, others contact, contacts as well for homophobe or other things, racism. Cool. Uh, yeah, that sounds super interesting. And I've got a second question if that's okay. okay. Um, is there anything in your setup that would stop somebody else being able to apply this to a different language? So you said everything here was Portuguese, um, uh, Brazilian Portuguese. Is there anything to stop somebody else doing it with Spanish yeah. or German or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a model, the much multilingual model you can use. But especially for my case, I was in master and my advisor told me, oh, only the Brazilian Portuguese, because it's so many other languages to understand, especially because I, I understand a little bit uh, in uh, the situation in Brazil. But that is, you can use, for example, if you, you collect the, the YouTube reports around the world, you can use the, the same stuff. Only the change for, because I use Bert Bau, because it's Brazilian for, yes, you change for the multilingual. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Unfortunately, we have to cut this here, um, but I'm sure Deborah is running around, so uh, yeah. just grab her and ask her all your questions. Um, thank you again for the very cool talk, and uh, please give it up for Deborah once again. Thank you. Fair chance.